running game by spreading them out, using a mobile quarterback, and are creating running lanes amongst that front seven. So, Trevor, I believe Clemson is the best shot for anybody in the country to beat this team because of the offense and the style that they play and because of Deshaun Watson. He's the best quarterback in America. Now, I still don't think they'll do it just yet because I haven't got into the film study, but they have an opportunity because of the uh, style that they play. That was the SEC Network's Booger McFarland on with Mike and Mike in the morning after the national championship playoff games. Clemson and Alabama will face off for the title. Chris, we heard from Brian Erlacher. He was on with Waddle and Sylvie. John Clayton also joined the guys. And like you just said, we heard from Booger McFarlane, who was on with Mike and Mike. And remember, for three easy payments no, of two ninety nine, dollars you can get the Chip Kelly breakup mixtape plus shipping and handling. Yeah, if you missed that segment, it was about 15 minutes ago. Check it out on the podcast. If you go to the ESPN app, you can download every podcast from the best of 1,000 right underneath the ESPN Chicago tab. Also, follow Adam on Twitter at Adam A. Abdallah. Follow myself on Twitter at Chris Bleck. Follow the show on Twitter at Best of 1000. Chauncey's Great Outdoors is coming up next at 6 a.m. on ESPN 1000. My New Year's resolution this year, and I don't usually make resolutions yeah. this year, my New Year's resolution this year is to be nicer to Chauncey. Well, that's, that's nice of you. I think so. Well, great. And to be more humble. That's Adam Abdallah. I'm Chris Black. This has been another edition of the Best of 1000 on ESPN 1000 and ESPNChicago.com. This is the Best of 1000 on ESPN 1000 and ESPNChicago.com. Installing new countertops is a great way to give your kitchen a beautiful new look. And Landon is here from Menards to tell us how, with proper care, it's easy to keep your countertops looking great for years to come. What are some of your recommendations, Landon? First of all, if your countertops have wood edges or caps, make sure to apply a finish so that they're protected against water damage. Do you have any tips for removing spills on countertops? Usually a quick wipe with a soft, wet rag will do the trick. For more stubborn stains, use a mild dish soap or powder detergent. And if that doesn't remove the stain? For those really hard to remove stains, use an all-purpose cleaner or bathroom cleanser. Rinse with warm water and dry with a soft cloth. Just make sure not to use cleaners that contain harsh acids or abrasives. Thanks, Landon. You can find a wide range of countertops and cleaning supplies at Menards. And as always, if you have any questions, talk to a friendly team member. Save big money at Menards. The Bulls. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Eero. This is Joe Kimo. Hi, this is Tony Gibson. Hey, it's Bobby Saul. Celebrating 50 years of the Chicago Bulls. This is the 50th year. Happy birthday, Chicago Bulls. I just can't believe 50 years have gone by. It's not real, and I'm so happy to be a part of it. It's super exciting. So fast. And we've only just begun. It's another 50 years. Chicago Bulls basketball. To buy or sell tickets, go to NBATickets.com. WMVP AM ESPN 1000 is a part of the Walt Disney Company. Any organization or educational institution that maintains a job bank, provides employment information, or gives job referrals may ask to receive our station's job listings. For further information, call 312-980-1000 or visit the website at ESPNChicago.com. That's 312-980-1000 or ESPNChicago.com. WMVP AM ESPN 1000 is an equal opportunity employer. We are the home of the Chicago Bulls, ESPN 1000. What are you going to do with your old car? You can try selling it, you could junk it, or you can donate it to Heritage for the Blind. Your car will be towed away for free, and your donation is tax deductible. Just call 1-800-814-2162. Heritage for the Blind accepts hey, my cars, login vans, is trucks, and boats. Capital O. No matter if your vehicle runs or not. It'll be towed away for free. S-T-R-O. Those that need help. W. Heritage for the Blind is a nonprofit organization e. that helps the visually impaired live fuller lives. Call right now to donate your car. And as a special thank you for calling, you'll receive and then my a password is Butler21 with a capital B. Locations. Call Heritage for the Blind right now. Call 1-800-814-2162. Donating is easy, and your vehicle is towed away for free. Plus, you'll get a free vacation voucher. Call now, 1-800-814-2162. That's 1-800-814-2162.
Individuals and businesses with tax problems. Listen carefully. Do you feel like you're losing control of your finances? If you owe over $10,000 in back taxes or have unfiled tax returns, we can help you take back control. The IRS is the largest and most aggressive collection agency in the world, and they can seize your bank accounts, garnish your paycheck, close your business, and file criminal charges. Take control of your tax problem now by calling the experts at U.S. Tax tax Shield and take advantage of the Fresh Start program and new laws that may allow us to negotiate a settlement for the lowest amount Our team of tax attorneys and agents can stop collections and get you protected so you can take control of your financial future. U.S. Tax Shield offers a price protection guaranteed quote to get you protected today. U.S. Tax Shield is A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau, so call now. 800-687-5192. That's 800-687-5192. U.S. Tax Shield. 800-687-5192. Welcome the Bulls to Toronto for a Sunday afternoon battle. Bulls and Raptors, 2 on the home of the Bulls. ESPN 1000. This is ESPN Chicago. ESPN 1000's Lunch with a Legend. Cubs legend Bertie Jenkins and Lee Smith. Friday, January 15th, live from Morton's The Steakhouse. Reserve your table now. Details at ESPNChicago.com. Broadcasting live from the Mazda State Street Studio, this is WMVP AM Chicago, ESPN 1000, and ESPNChicago.com. The following program is a paid advertisement. The views reflected on this show are not necessarily the views of ESPN 1000. 106 miles to Chicago. We got a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes. It's dark. And we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. Uh, you heard him. He said, let's hit it, boys. Oh, two, oh, two, oh, two, oh, two. Good morning, Rooster. How you doing there this morning? You sound pretty good. Uh, one more time. There you go. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, I gotta go. He's gotta get that last point in. But good morning, everybody, and welcome to Chauncey's Great Outdoors here on ESPN Radio, AM one thousand. And um, what can I tell you? Um, it's the first Saturday of the new year. Happy New Year, everybody! Hope you had a healthy and safe New Year. I was sleeping at eleven forty-five. <laughs> I just fell asleep on a couch. That's what happened, you know. But, uh, no, first of all, we want to say thank you to our sponsors who bring this program to you every single week. Uh, We're talking about Bass Pro Shops, all three stores. Waterworks Marine, definitely the place you want to go for any, looking for a fishing boat, cruising boat, pontoon boat, Waterworks Marine. Paul's Pizza in Westchester, the new Midwest Outdoors magazine. Ren Lake Resort and Conference Center down in Ren Lake. The water level's pretty high up there. And our friends at the Chicagoland Outdoor Show in Rosemont, the Chicagoland Fishing, Travel, and Outdoor Expo in Schaumburg. Our buddies over at the All Canada Show, the Tinley Park Outdoor Show. And you, the people who bring this program to you every single week. Thank you very much. Wow. What can I say? I'm looking for... uh, how can I put this? Looking for some uh, New Year's resolutions. I didn't hear too many of that. Um, and, you know, we're just trying to make sure we enjoy ourselves and, you know, try to have some fun in the great out of doors and uh, get get stuff done. So we, we want you to be part of the show. And once again, I'm giving tickets away if you're going to be part of the show this week. And our phone number, I'll say it slowly because somebody said, you didn't say the phone number enough. Well, then you got to listen from the beginning of the show. <laughs> but our phone number is 1-312-332-3776. That's 1-312-332-3776. Well, I mean, it, it, literally, we got cold. There's skim, skim ice that I heard of up on the chain. They're doing a little bit of ice fishing, central Wisconsin, northern Wisconsin. They're doing some ice fishing up there. Uh, but please, be, you got to be careful with this skim ice. And I hate to say this, you hear the weather report, they're talking 40s again coming in a couple of days. I don't know if I can deal with that, but okay. We're, we're going to see that action. Um, the other thing that uh, we got on today's show, we've got a couple of really, really good guests. First of all, it's first Saturday of the month, so it's the Forest Preserve District of Cook County. 
Yep, they're on this month. Got to tell everybody what's happening in the month of January. We got to get some fun activities and different things going on there. Uh, well, then we have our friend Rick Rosalini, the manager of the Chicago. I love all these big big names. The Chicago Outdoor Sports Show in Rosemont. That's why we all call it the Rosemont Show, the Schaumburg Show, the Tinley Park Show, the All Canada Show. <laughs> But Rick is coming in uh, to talk about the show and all the neat stuff that's going to be there this year. So I'm I'm pretty excited about that. And you, that's right, you, you are you're our people. It's at one three one two three three two three seven seven six. That's one three one two three three two three seven seven six. We'll have some fishing reports and we'll get a couple of other things done here. So I'm pretty excited. Whoop! I got to reach over here. Grab something because I didn't have the stretch out out there. So once again, we're going to try to get as much done as we can so you can be part of the great outdoors, and we want you to have fun with us. All right. Whoa. So you're listening to Chauncey on Chauncey's Great Outdoors. You know us. We know the outdoors. Hey, at Bass Pro Shop, this is the weekend for all you ice fishermen. Yes, they have two great seminars of ice fishing today going on, as well as some super clearance sales at Bass Pro Shops. We're talking about great sales in the hunting department, great sales in the fishing department, great sales in the clothing department. You can't pass up. Some of these deals are 50 to 60% off. It's a great way to make your outdoor dollar go farther at your favorite outdoor show, Bass Pro Shops. Stop in any of their three stores, Bolingbrook, Portage, Indiana, and Gurney Mills. Bass Pro Shops, it's where your next outdoor adventure begins indoors. Paul's Pizza and Hot Dogs on 31st and Wolf Road in Westchester is the home of the largest and best Italian beef you'll find in the Chicagoland area. With a full menu of charbroiled sandwiches, pasta, Italian favorites, and more, you'll know why people throughout the suburbs and Chicago will drive to Paul's for a true Chicago-style Italian beef. But Paul's Pizza and Hot Dogs on 31st and Wolf Road in Westchester also has a catering menu of Italian favorites like eggplant parmesan, salads, Manacot, Chicken Vesuvio, Marsala, and more. To make your next party special, call Paul's for catering at 708-531-9080. That's 708-531-9080. So stop on out to Paul's Pizza and Hot Dogs in Westchester on 31st and Wolf Road and taste what a true Chicago tradition is like. The Chicago and Outdoors Show at the Rosemont Convention Center is back and better than ever January 20th through the 24th. It's the great outdoors indoors. Need to book a trip, get some new gear, or talk fishing and hunting? This is the place. Check out the new Tackle Time Pavilion featuring grant rods, guides, choice pro shops, plus many more. Visit the Rosemont Boat and RV Pavilion, sponsored by General RV Center, and admission includes the Chicagoland Gun Show, Fire and Ice Expo, and the new Chicago Hot Sauce Expo. Buy your tickets online at chicagosportshow.com to save. January 20th through the 24th in Rosemont. Don't miss it. The Waterworks Marine Group is merging the Warrenville Naperville store and the Country Club Hills flagship store the Waterworks Marine Group Superstore at 18660 South Cicero Avenue in Country Club Hills. This means better pricing for customers, more boats to choose from, accessories, a full industry-approved mechanic shop servicing all motor manufacturers, larger off-season secure storage, and more. But you, the recreational boater, can win, win, win also right now. You'll find huge savings on parts, accessories, boat motors, and trailers at both locations during this transition. So visit www.waterworks.com for the location nearest you. The Waterworks Marine Group flagship store in Country Club Hills has been Chicagoland's number one independent boat dealer for over 19 years, selling Alumacraft, Lund, Cypress pontoon boats, Monterey cruisers, and fun certified used boats, and is continuing to grow and be bigger and better to serve you. For more information on the sale, call them at 708-798-9700 or go to waterworks.com. That's Waterworks with an E. The Red Lake Resort is truly a little bit of heaven at Exit 77, just off Interstate 57, and has been totally upgraded and remodeled. From new furniture, linens, flat screen TVs, to the most comfortable beds that you will make you feel like you're sleeping in a cloud and more. The Red Lake Resort is the only resort on Red Lake, and you're only minutes away from being on the water, ho oh, ho, right there from your room. But you can also go hiking, b biking, golf, and more and it's also the gateway to the Southern Illinois Wine Trails. 
So make your plans to come to Run Lake Resort, the only resort on Run Lake. Tell us at 618-629-2211 or go to RunLakeResort.com. Illinois, mile after magnificent mile. It's Chauncey's Great Outdoors on ESPN 1000 and ESPNChicago.com. Hey everybody, welcome back to Ch- Whoa. Welcome back to Chauncey's Great Outdoors. Microphone seems to be dropping a little bit. And, uh, hey, what can I say? I'm pretty excited about this. And, you know, with all, I mean, oh, it, it all starts next weekend. We're talking about, we've got the greatest shows all lined up coming in. You know, we first show we got come up is the All Canada Show. Then we got the great Chicagoland Outdoor Sports Show in Rosemont. Then we've got the uh, Chicagoland Fishing Travel and Outdoor Expo in Schaumburg. And then the Tinley Park show comes around. I am this. This is Excitement City right now. <laughs> Excitement City! Da, 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 da. Oh man! Hey, let's take a look at. Uh, we've got tons of stuff here. We've got a couple of fishing reports. Hey, there's a lot of high water on the Illinois River. <laughs> oh man! And do I mean high water on the Illinois River? So please, please. I mean, they've closed the the lower parking lot at the. Uh, Stav Rock State Park because of high water levels. That that's just gonna, you know, <laughs> that tells you how much water is just all getting shot down through the streams and and rivers that feed the Illinois River. And it's getting it's it may not get better for a little while. It's gonna be pretty high up there. Kankakee River's high, um, and the Illinois River's high. Mississippi River. Let's not even talk about it. It is really scary out there. Uh, so we got to be very very concerned about you know that activity that we've seen out there. So please, 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 please be careful when you're walking around. Any of those streams and stuff like that, uh, we'll figure it out there at another time. Hey, let's, uh, uh, we're going to have a, some perch action in the harbors and stuff. I like seeing that. Mm-hmm. That's a really good thing to see. But I tell you what, we've got to uh, jump on a question here. Um, uh, let's see. Who's on, uh, is, we, let's take our first call here. Who's our first call there? <laughs> it's Mike in Hanover Park. Oh, Mike in Hanover Park. How are you, Mike? Hey, Happy New Year, Chauncey. How are you, sir? Okay, my friend. A uh, question for you. I guess I, I'm making a resolution this year. I get more active in my local forest reserves here. And my question is, is why is it now all of a sudden I'm not seeing any deer, I'm not seeing any fighting? I used to take my kids out there. That's how I got them interested in the outdoors. And now the grandkids, I take out there, we don't even see a deer. And then I saw, I noticed a sign up the other day by my local DuPage forest reserve that they're starting to eliminate the deer park yet. You're not allowed in there after dusk till dawn, you know, through now through March, because they're calling the herds. Yeah, um, I know there, there's a program, I don't know if they're doing it in Cook County this year. Uh, normally I've, I've gotten a little note from somebody, I'll have to ask them, but, uh, you know, DuPage County, they they have to call the, the herd. And, you know, some of the... This you, can you hear my voice already? Kind of going. Well, I don't want to go down this road. <laughs> I know. I'm yeah. sorry to do it, but I try to ask the guys out there when I see them. Now I'm retired, so yeah, I've been here for 37 years mm-hmm. next to Myers Lake, and now I go out there. You don't even see tracks. Nothing. Yeah. Well, there. The, trust me, they haven't left. <laughs> Well, I know there's a couple out there. Once in a while, I'll have somebody tell me, so, oh, yeah, I saw a deer over here. Yeah. But now it's like almost like in the 60s or 50s. You don't see nothing. Yeah. Um, so, that sounds like my deer season, if you ask me. Uh, the, uh, the, same as mine. <laughs> the, the thing about the in the forest preserves and stuff like that, um, yeah, we, we they're culling the herds because they have to drop the, the numbers. Uh, the numbers are getting so high that the... Um, for example, the, the, I don't live far from the forest preserves in Cook County. And this one section of woods, about two or three years ago, they took 100 deer out of it. And I still see deer once in a while. I mean, I don't see, I mean, they're not running across, you know, 31st Street you know, like they did before. And I don't have four of them living in my high, bra- high bushes in, in front of my house like I did that one winter. Um, but, you know, and yes, that was kind of neat to have that. But it's really, when there was so many out there, uh, they, they just have to drop those numbers. And uh, I really believe that um, it, it's going to be, they're just making it healthier. They really are. I just hope they're not going too far. Because like I said, when I used to take my, that's how I got my kids interested in hunting. Yeah. It, it, I take them out there showing them, and now my grandkids, I take them out there, and we haven't seen a deer yet. 
in two years. Mm -hmm. No, they're tr tr trust me. I I do know they're there. That you just gotta look a little harder because there's instead of there being and I'm just throwing a number off the top of my head. Instead of there being fifty of them out there, there may be only ten out there. Uh, yeah, you I, know. I understand that they have to knock them down a little bit. I would yeah. just hoping they weren't trying to eradicate them. No, no, no. They're not trying to eradicate <laughs> them. They're not trying to eradicate them, but they are dropping the numbers to a, a more substantial level where the deer, and a lot of times you may have been able to see them because the food amount wasn't as great out there that they were looking to browse on than was there today, okay? Yeah. And uh, now there's more food, so you're not seeing them. I'm, the reason I'm not seeing them living in front of my house, and trust me, I've got all natural bushes and plants that they, I'm like the, the Chauncey Buffet. <laughs> for deer, <laughs> and they, they're not into it because there's so much in the forest preserves, you know, a block and a half away from me for right. them to eat, so they're just not out there. Well, I want to thank you for calling and get those kids out there. I love that you did that. Hey, what can uh, what show are you interested in going to? Uh, how about the Schaumburg one? Schaumburg show? Okay, sir, we will put two tickets on uh, at Will Call for you. We're going to get all your information on there. And, uh, oh, we'll great. Get that. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. My new year is starting off good. Well, it is, and uh, the resolution of you getting outdoors and doing more involuntary with the Forest Preserves, uh, please, the DuPage County Forest Preserves, great place, and they have a great volunteer uh, base of people. You know, you could be involved with, uh, you know, pulling must, uh, the, the mustard plant. You can be involved with many different programs there. Uh, so, you know, just give them a call and uh, tell them you, you even talked about it on my show, okay? Oh, sounds great. Thank you, sir. All right. You have a good new year. You too, sir. I'm going to put you on hold right there. And uh, for those people that may be going, uh, Chauncey, what's going on this different? Uh, if you go to YouTube on live stream and type in Chauncey's Great Outdoors, you'll probably see a, fo a video of me doing the show this morning that's on YouTube. And, um, you know, you just, you know, click on there and say, you know, Chauncey's Great Outdoors, boom, bang, and, and see what comes up. And we'll have to uh, check all of that out to, uh, to make sure that uh, you're enjoying it. Uh, God, okay, we talked about that. Let's talk. Got a couple, one fishing thing before we get on another phone. Okay, one more fishing before we get on the phone. Uh, perch. Oh, yeah, baby. Uh, Lake Michigan was not pretty. Yeah, Mother Nature just ran up her head and said, I'm in charge down here. And she, she made it look pretty ugly for a lot of uh, people walking, trying to bike the lakefront, walk along the shoreline on a beautiful day. But it got cold, it got windy, it got 12-foot, 18-foot waves. When everything settles down, they are getting some perch in the harbors. In the harbors, they are getting some perch. That's an important thing. Uh, you want to stick around, you know, do sable and burn them. They're pretty much protected harbors, so that's way it's going to be the better spots for you to try. Uh, definitely try that. Uh, minnows are working quite well right now. Um, the 87th Street slip, they're popping some fish down there too. But you got to watch the wind direction on that one. Uh, they also, you know, lake settled down. Two of my friends went out in the boat. They were playing around the uh, Gary Light and caught some fish. Uh, that was a you know good sign there. Uh, so I'm you know thinking it's uh, you know quite 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 good that we're going to have some activity and action there. Uh, the uh, let's see here. We also have um, the Chicago River. Nothing going on there. Nobody's been fishing the Chicago River. Uh, the Plains River. It's pretty much too high water. Too, way too high, guys. Stick off that. I mean, it's it's not going to help you going out there and checking those locations out. Uh, we're seeing a little bit of, uh, as I said, starting to see some skim ice in different areas. So uh, please, please check that out. Indiana streams are flowing pretty high and they're mucky. Uh, you know, just be careful once again if you if you're trying to fish some of those areas. Uh, I would almost say let the let the water come down a little bit. You'll be in a lot better, sh much better shape going on there. We're seeing some walleye activity uh, on tip ups in northern Wisconsin and some of the lakes. Uh, the shiners are working your best, but you're fishing those deep, you know, the, the, not deep, lake, but you're fishing the shallow waters uh, closer to the shoreline because that's where you're going to see some of the safe ice, and that's where you definitely want to, you know, check it out. My uh, fishing report here for my grandson, Aiden, from uh, this, this is my West Michigan fishing report, guys, you know. I think the kid's got a fan club. Everybody says, how's Aiden doing? How's Aiden doing? But uh, he said, Papa, thank you for the Christmas gifts. We, Dad and I went to Muskegon Lake. I, I'm reading this as he wrote this to me, so <laughs> this is the first time. And they were, they were guiding. 
Not getting, gadding. <laughs> they were gadding some perch and walleye. Fish were in the channel by the bridge. Steelhead in the Muskegon River. Water temperatures are low 40s. A gentleman told me that. Well, at least he's called him a gentleman, not an old guy. Um, <laughs> and the dam by my house, in, they're seeing good steelhead after the rain. Uh, they're working a little bit harder, but they're still catching good fish. Otherwise, that's all I was able to find. That's my grandson, Aiden. He's reading that weekly fishing report. Gotta love the kid. Gotta love the kid. Hey, I tell you what. We're going to take a little bit of a break here. And uh, by the way, like I said, uh, check us out. We're on live stream on YouTube. So go to YouTube, type in Chauncey's Great Outdoors, and you should be able to find us talking on the air. You're listening to Chauncey and Chauncey's Great Outdoors. You know us. We know the outdoors. Want that Canadian fishing feel without the hassle across the, the stream? Is on this side. Uh, Vermilion Dam good. Lodge on Lake Vermilion is the perfect place to plan your next trip. Stay on a 40,000 acre lake with 1,200 miles yeah, of shoreline, uh-huh. 365 good. islands, large and small, and it's only less than nine hours from most anywhere in the Midwest. And there's plenty of walleye, musky, bass, and bite all waiting for you. But the Vermilion Dam Lodge has fishermen and family-friendly lodging that will make you return for many years. For more information on Vermilion Dam Lodge, go to vdl.com or call 800-325-5780 or stop by their booth at the new Chicago Muskie Show in Hoffman Estates on January 8th to the 10th or the Chicagoland Fishing Travel and Outdoor Expo in Schaumburg Convention Center January 28th through the 31st and tell them Chauncey sent you. Hello everyone, this is Chauncey, your host of Chauncey's Great Outdoors Radio and I want to tell you about a fantastic new magazine for fishermen and hunters right here in Illinois. It's called Midwest Outdoors. Uh, no, I'm not going crazy. I, Midwest Outdoors has been here, but this is the new Midwest Outdoors. It's better than ever, and it's jam-packed with new features, great information on fishing and hunting that you can use. Whether you want to know where to go, what to use, how to use it, or just plain enjoy the outdoors, the new Midwest Outdoors is worth a look. Every issue has great articles from your favorite professional outdoorsman, and this month's Mark Map will get you on the fish on your favorite lake. Midwest Outdoors is available at leading newsstands, or you can have it delivered to your home for only $14.95 for 12 issues. You can sign up online at MidwestOutdoors.com or call them at 800-606-3474. All major credit cards accepted. That's MidwestOutdoors.com or call 800-606-3474. The new Midwest Outdoors magazine and television show, helping you enjoy the outdoors. The All Canada Show. <laughs> What's that? Oh, uh, the All Canada Show is coming back to town. All Canada Show. Yeah. Remember that trip I took to Canada last year? Yeah. Did my research and met the lodge owner at the All Canada Show. Oh, yeah. Now, that's where you caught that monster pike, right? And took those short lunch pictures? Yep. I gotta get back up there. Uh, yeah. Hey, we've got room for one more. Mm-hmm. Want to come to the show with me and check it out? Are you kidding me? I'm in. The All Canada Show. It's the largest gathering of Canadian lodges in the U.S. Register to win a fantastic Canadian fishing trip to Milton Lake Lodge in Saskatchewan. Enjoy great seminar speakers, including Keith Cavias. Try our new hockey challenge game and have shore lunch with an ice-cold Labatt Blue. Seniors get a discount, kids get in free, and everyone gets a free collector daredevil lure on opening night. Details and discounted tickets are available at allcanada.com. January 14th through 17th at the Pheasant Run Mega Center, St. Charles. Free parking. The All Canada Show. HookandHuntTV.com is an exciting all-internet show. Sign up for their free weekly newsletter and join host Jim Crowley as he covers everything that goes bang and or splash. Get hooked on the hunt at HookandHuntTV.com. The Red Lake Resort is truly a little bit of heaven at Exit 77, just off Interstate 57, and has been totally upgraded and remodeled. From new furniture, linens, flat screen TVs, to the most comfortable beds that you will make you feel like you're sleeping on a cloud and more. The Red Lake Resort is the only resort on Red Lake, and you're only minutes away from being on the water, oh, right there from your room. But you can also go hiking, b- biking, golf, and more and it's also the gateway to the Southern Illinois wine trails. So make your plans to come to Red Lake Resort. Tensa, only Tensa. resort on Red Lake. Call them at 618-629-2211 or go to redlakeresort.com. Illinois, mile after magnificent mile. 
This is Chauncey's Great Outdoors on ESPN 1000 and ESPNChicago.com. Hey everybody, welcome back to Chauncey's Great Outdoors. Ah, we'll be coming to Jim Chelsea in a little bit, but I'm going to grab the phone line here from Nancy from Arlington Heights because I did a little research for her, and, uh, you know, it's hard to do research when everybody's not working. <laughs> Nancy, how are you? Hey, how you doing? I haven't talked to you in, what, a whole week or two? Two weeks, two weeks, two weeks. <laughs> two weeks, two weeks, two weeks. So, never went down the river. It was canceled. It was too dangerous. Yeah, and uh, I also... Uh, was checking out because I called a couple of places and said I want to get that sticker and they said our machine doesn't print them our machine doesn't print them so I've I called down to Springfield four times left messages you know I like to go through the proper channels I, I call the people leave messages call the people leave messages call the people leave messages and when that doesn't work out I call the boss <laughs> Good for you. So on Monday at 10 a.m. the first phone call is the boss the director saying all right Will you either get somebody to return Because, I mean, he doesn't have his finger on everything. He's he's running the operation, but he doesn't know exactly what's happening. So here I am, boom, and we're going to get that information out to those, you know, for the people. Because I have a canoe. i got to get my sticker. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, so they canceled all, yeah, that rivers are flying, man, aren't they? They are? Oh, my gosh, yes, yes, they are. I, I they actually saw them. Now that they took the dams down, they're flying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and the displays especially really running fast. Oh, yeah, it, it is. And I kind of took a peek at it in uh, Brookfield there, and I went, ooh. Uh, <laughs> that's, so that's a good thing. Just think by summer it's going to be so clear. It is. It is. And that's a lot of people need to realize that. When they take these dams out, their dams were put in for a lot of reason many years ago, these low dams. And uh, now that it's going to be clear, you're going to see more fish activity. You're going to see different species. You're going to see more walleye and crappie and pike action going on. Uh, it's it's really going to be just so much better for all of us. But it's going to be exciting. Uh, did they re, did they just change the date of the uh, the canoe? Actually, or no? actually, they did. They're 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 just going to move it into April. Um, tentatively, it could be April 9th, but I can't I can't really swear on that date at all. I just have to keep checking and calling back in April, and that's kind of the, the memorial for, well, freeze. Yeah, right, exactly, exactly it is. And uh, Yeah, I don't think they want to do this on New Year's thing. I think they feel it's just too dangerous mm -hmm. every year. The, real quick here, you know, I had a great conversation with Ralph Freeze, uh, a gentleman in Houston, the... Chicagoland. Yeah, Chicagoland kayak and canoe. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was wonderful. And the, the reason he started his little adventure there in canoeing and kayaking is he went up with his Boy Scout troop to uh, summer camp at a Wasapi Scout Reservation in Michigan and l just loved canoeing and stuff. When he came back to Chicago, he couldn't find anybody that rented canoes. Oh, my gosh. And that's how he started. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, he started a good thing, unfortunately. I, you know, and I really used to like to start my New Year's out with a canoe ride, but now I've got to start a new new, uh, new resolution or a new... Uh, new, new activity? A new activity, yep. Oh, well, I'm, Nancy, I'm sure you'll come up with something. I'm sure I will. All I'm right, sure will. I'm going to let you go. I know we got you on the list uh, for tickets, right? You do, you do. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, I know okay. we have you on the list for tickets. And we'll, we'll talk to you. As soon as you find out a date, make sure you give us a call. I sure will. Have a great New Year and a healthy one. Thank you very much. That was Nancy. Uh, and hey, everyone, uh, coming up on the phone, we got Mr. Jim Chelzik. Hey, Mr. Chelzik, how are you? Happy New Year, Chance. How you been? Happy New Year to you. And as a matter of fact, I, I want you to know that uh, the show is being live streamed on YouTube. Uh, this is something we've been working on for about seven, eight months, and uh, it's working right now. And as a matter of fact, we've got uh, a couple people watching the show uh, who are enjoying it, probably getting little text messages from some people and stuff like that. So this is kind of a cool thing. It's, so you can, you can watch Chauncey's Great Outdoors on YouTube. If I had known we were going to be on YouTube, I would have showered and shaved. Yeah, but then you wouldn't look right. True. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't have recognized me. No. What's going on, my friend? Well, it's winter. We've got cross-country skiing, sledding, snowshoe programs and loans, ice fishing, skating, snowmobiling. Now all we need is, you know, four inches of snow, four inches of ice. We'll be in business. Yes. We, we, we just <laughs> need a little bit more snow and ice on the ground for it all to work. But skiing will be big this year if we do get snow because we've got new equipment at Sagawa, mm -hmm. and we're going to have equipment at our campgrounds. 
We have four campgrounds open with heated cabins. So year-round camping there. And those campgrounds are gorgeous. Gorgeous, I'm telling you. They're beautiful. Yes. They are really neat. The big thing we have coming up in January is Martin Luther King Day of Service on the 8th. Mm. at Dan Ryan Woods. Okay. And this is a chance for families to come out and do some habitat restoration, have some fun activities, and kind of celebrate the day. Being a holiday, kids are out of school, you're looking for something to do with them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. Hey, um, the, the, it's just there. It's not any place else, right? Correct. Okay. All right. I just want to make sure I, I was, I'm writing this down as you're telling me. Okay. We have lots of winter-related stuff coming up, uh, like how animals survive, how plants survive. So we got life under the ice at Little Red Schoolhouse on the 16th, mm-hmm. raptors in winter at Schoolhouse on the 23rd, winter survival on the 17th at Crabtree, animals in winter on the 10th at Trailside. So pretty much any nature center is going to have something on how wildlife survives the winter. You know, mm-hmm. we lose a lot of birds, we lose a lot of bats. What happens with them? Well, the ones who can't find food here, go where the food is. Makes sense to me. Turtles, frogs, what do they do? Fish. So they'll be addressing that at the various programs, various sites. Don't they just crawl under a pagina? Under a what? It's Polish. It's a big feather blanket. <laughs> Thank you for translating. That's okay. right, Danny. That's, that's what we're here for, okay? <laughs> yeah. Now, Sam Ridge is offering, offering a couple of anti-winter programs of sorts, uh, In Search of Green on the 30th, and uh, a tree hike on the 23rd. Mm-hmm. And tomorrow, there's a program on winter weeds. There's stuff out there. Winter weeds? Winter weeds, yeah, there's some green stuff going on out there. you got to look for it, but it's there. And I believe that one is at Crabtree. Hmm. Uh, yes, at Crabtree. Okay. Uh, University of Illinois Extension Service, uh, North Cook County office is doing some horticulture programs for us during the course of the winter, and the one that's coming up uh, this month is Forcing Winter Branches. You can actually somehow force branches to bloom, and that is at uh, River Trail on 23rd, Crabtree on the 30th, and at Trailside on the 31st. Hmm. That sounds like an interesting one. Yeah. It's a... Again, it's finding something green in the winter for those who don't really want to deal with, like my wife. As soon as we get past the solstice, it's like, yes, they're getting longer again. Spring is on the way. Speaking of solstice, thank you for coming out to the bonfire at Little Red Schoolhouse a couple weeks ago. I had way, way, way too much fun. And I noticed. <laughs> and there was no alcohol involved. And there was no alcohol involved, that's right. <laughs> and you still had fun. See, it and I, can be done. It can be done. I, I, yeah, you've never seen that part of me, have you? No, I haven't. Yeah, and, that was uh, interesting. Yes, I, I, was, I was having, as I mentioned to you in, several weeks ago, uh, the Winter Solstice, they had a big bonfire at the Little Red Schoolhouse, and uh, they did a program where they took everybody through the woods for a hike on the trail, but Rudolph, a.k.a. a mounted deer head with a red nose light, uh, was running through the woods. And I was impressed that nobody fell in the woods, I can't tell you that. Uh, <laughs> and uh, so, you know, we sang Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer with the kids. And then we went back up, had the campfire, and there was a couple people, presentations. And then we sang some, I was leading songs. And I, I just, I, like I say, I tell, I mentioned to you, uh, that's what I love to do, is lead songs at a campfire. I guess you've done it a few times, haven't you? A few thousand. A few thousand <laughs> times. <laughs> so was this 2000 or 2001? Might have been 2001 time, I guess. But oh, okay. I, I so just, it was beautiful. Thank we you. We should have celebrated, you know, kind of a milestone there. Oh, it, it just... I'm, I've got goosebumps just talking about it. I really do, Tim. Thank you so much for putting that together and letting me do that because that, that really was a, a great time. And the weather was great. And What was it, like 50 degrees at night? Yeah, I know. Well, I started out with my red jacket on. I had to take it off because I was sw- too warm moving around in front of the campfire. And I was sitting on the campfire. The camp- you know, it was just it was a beautiful, warm night. And the program runs from 7 to 8.30. 
I left at 8.45, and there were still people around. It was so nice out, they just didn't seem to want to leave, which was fine. I'm really <laughs> glad they have them, but it was... Normally, you know, at 18 degrees, it's like, okay, fine, let's get out of here. Mm -hmm. Gone. And, and everybody at the staff there was so nice to all the people there. And, uh, you know, I just love listening to uh, one gentleman who was talking. I, I don't know his name at all. I apologize. But he just said to somebody, he goes, yeah, it's a beautiful night. We're going to pay for it. <laughs> you did have been Chad O'Neill, the assistant director. I might have been Chad O'Neill. He said, we're going to pay for it. <laughs> Well, a quick shout-out to John. Yesterday was his first day of retirement. Oh, my goodness gracious. Congratulations, John. That's right. Uh, one other thing we got coming up, uh, Winter Exploration Day on the 9th at Caldwell Woods. Uh, typically, there would be snowshoes involved and things like that, but they'll find plenty of activities, so I wouldn't worry mm -hmm. about it. And, you know, this is a great time of the year. Uh, just to, you know, yeah, put your rubber gold lashes on and, you know, you know, walk on some of the, you know, drier trails in the forest preserves and there's still so many birds out uh it, oh, yeah. i was talking to jim phillips and he was in one area not far from you know the chicagoland area and he saw a mockingbird and some other stuff th i mean it's like jim mockingbirds aren't around here he goes well they're not supposed to be but they're here right now <laughs> yeah kind of a late fall here yeah been experiencing. it really really was I, was I was quite surprised at that quite surprised well, like i said if they can still find food They'll stick around. They'll follow the food. Oh, yeah, they will. They will follow it and munch on it and eat it. So what else is kicking out there? Um, that's a good question. I'm trying to think what else we do have going. Now, uh, like, what about the deer thing? Uh, you know, you're talking, yes. I, I was talking about the gentleman about the DuPage County. Uh, he said they're doing some right. calling and. Yeah, and, you know, they, I know they do some calling in Cook County. I don't know if they're doing it this year or not. But, I mean, you... you the, the numbers just have to come down in some of the forest preserves. Yes, we love seeing them. I love to see them. But we just got to manage it. Well, to, to put Mike's fears at rest, there's, it's impossible to eradicate them. Um, and frankly, what the, the management has done with the, re the removals is it's brought deer populations down to more what they should be for the habitat. You mentioned you didn't see any deer deer hunting. Well, he goes out and he doesn't see any deer. That's that's normal. That's the way it should be. When mm -hmm. the populations are huge, they destroy the, the forest. Plant life, you know, and it gets to the point where they've eaten up all the food. They can't migrate. They right. got stuck around. Huh. Right. They, yeah, they stick around. And we did lose a bunch of deer in uh, the northern part of Cook County, I think in 2012, to something called epizootic hemorrhagic disease. God bless you. It, thank you. Okay. And it happens various locations around the state every year and it has to do with perfect environmental conditions weather wise and these little mites uh, get to the deer and I mean they drop like snowflakes and it happened all over and we get calls hey how come we don't see any deer mm -hmm. well that's part of it uh, but they will reproduce they will come back because it's not something that EHD doesn't get there and stay there mm. it's a one shot deal kills a bunch of them and it's over yeah okay and, Mike, if you really want to see some deer, one place I know you can see plenty would be Sugar Woods. <laughs> yes. Which is on the Displains River right around Irving Park Road. Yeah. I, I, when I, many, many years ago, I, I did a lot of flying. Uh, and as we were coming in a landing at O'Hare, I would always look out the window and they go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. <laughs> it's like they stand there and look at the planes as they're going by, you know. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> it's a little easier to count them from a helicopter. Yeah, it is, it is, that it is. But counting in that area with the, the jets coming in, the, the, the guys at the tower get really nervous <laughs> about you being in there. Yeah. Well, that's it's be like 30 seconds to fly through and say, get out. Get out, move now. <laughs> well, Jim, if somebody wants to get more information, uh, and uh, because this uh, is being brought to you by the Forest Preserve District of Cook County, uh, if they want to get more information on the Forest Preserves, who's uh, also a sponsor of Chauncey's Great Outdoors, uh, what's the best way to get information? Well, start with the website, fpdcc.com. Okay. That's got everything you can want to know. You can always call your closest nature center, and they'll be glad to direct you. We are also on Facebook and Twitter, and I got the email yesterday that uh, our monthly publication, digital publication, Forest Way, came out mm -hmm. first of the month. 
And you can just subscribe to that, and it's a nice little once-a-month email. It tells you some of the highlights of what's coming up and a little bit about what's, what's happened recently. Cool. Cool. <clears throat> well, very good. I want to thank you very much. And once again, uh, you know, as Je- I told Jim, that he's uh, uh, we're broadcasting live via the stream on YouTube. So if people want to see what Chauncey's Great Outdoors kind of looks like on the air, on the visual air, you go to YouTube and type in Chauncey's Great Outdoors live stream, and pop, we'll, it'll show up there, and you'll see the studio a little bit. Of course, I mean, you had to shower today. Too. Yeah, I showered, got a little, you know, shaved a little bit, got a little nappy poo, put a clean shirt on, stuff like that. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, my friend. Happy New Year to you. And to you, Charles. Take care. We'll see you later. Talk to you again. And something he didn't mention is we're going to see the uh, Forest Preserve District uh, is going to have a bunch of their nature centers at the uh, outdoor show in Schaumburg. And the Chicago Herpetological Society will be at the Rosemont Outdoor Show, and they're also going to be at the uh, Schomburg Outdoor Show. But So we'll be able to look forward to seeing the Herp Society people at both of those shows and uh, have a great time. You're listening to Chauncey on Chauncey's Great Outdoors. You know us. We know the outdoors. Paul's Pizza and Hot Dogs on 31st and Wolf Road in Westchester is the home of the largest and best pizza the best in the Chicago Okay, so there's 45 seconds. There's a full menu of charbroiled sandwiches, pasta, Italian favorites, and more. You'll know why people throughout the suburbs and Chicago will drive to Paul's for true Chicago-style Italian beef. But Paul's Pizza and Hot Dogs on 31st and Wolf Road in Westchester also has a catering menu of Italian favorites like eggplant parmesan, salads, chicken Vesuvio, Marsala, and more. To make your next party special, call Paul's for catering at 708-531-9080. That's 708-531-9080. So stop on out to Paul's Pizza and Hot Dogs in Westchester on 31st and Wolf Road and taste what a true Chicago tradition is like. Hey, it's Ice Fishing Weekend at Bass Pro Shops, all stores in the Chicago land and throughout the country. And we're seeing some great values on ice fishing gear as well as seminars today. So don't miss it. Get out to Bass Pro Shops. But you know what? This is their big clearance sale going on right now, which means you can get 40, 50, 60% off in men's and women's apparel, hunting, gifts. Gifts are even bigger sliced on some of those late season Christmas gifts for next year. You want to make sure the house is decorated? Go to Bass Pro Shops today. Remember, Bass Pro Shops, all three stores, Bolingbrook, Gurney Mills, and Portage, Indiana, where your next outdoor adventure begins indoors at Bass Pro. The Waterworks Marine Group is merging the Warrenville Naperville store and the Country Club Hills flagship store in the house. Waterworks Marine Group Superstore at 18660 South Cicero Avenue in Country Club Hills. This means better pricing for customers, more boats to choose from, accessories, a full industry-approved mechanic shop servicing all motor manufacturers, larger off-season secure storage, and more. But you, the recreational boater, can win, win, win also right now. You'll find huge savings on parts, accessories, boat motors and trailers at both locations during this transition. So visit www.waterworks.com for the location nearest you. The Waterworks Marine Group flagship store in Country Club Hills has been Chicagoland's number one independent boat dealer for over 19 years, selling Alumacraft Lund, Cypress pontoon boats, Monterey cruisers, and fun certified used boats, and is continuing to grow and be bigger and better to serve you. For more information on the sale, call them at 708-798-9700 or go to waterworks.com. That's Waterworks with an E. The Chicago and Outdoor Show the Rosemont Convention Center is back and better than ever January 20th through the 24th. It's the great outdoors indoors. Need to book a trip, get some new gear, or talk yep, fishing right. riding? This is the place. Check out the new Tackle Time Pavilion featuring grant rods, guides, choice pro shops, plus many more. Visit the Rosemont Boat and RV Pavilion, sponsored by General RV Center, and admission includes the Chicago and Gun Show, Fire and Ice Expo, and the new Chicago Hot Sauce Expo. Buy your tickets online at chicagosportshow.com to save. January 20th through the 24th in Rosemont. Don't miss it. Hey, fellow fisherman, Kerry Wood here. Make sure to tune in to ESPN Chicago every Saturday morning at 6 a.m. for Chauncey's Great Outdoors. Ah, uh, yes. Good tune, good tune. Is a house in your house. Is a house in Rosemont. 
called the Chicago Outdoor Sports Show, isn't it there, Rick? It is. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Just changed the words of that tune a little bit, you know. But, uh, <laughs> hey, everyone, this is the, uh, Rick Rosaline. He's the manager and owner-operator and the guy who's, uh, you know, working so hard on, on uh, the Rosemont Outdoor Show. I, I mean, this year, I, literally, it's like, I want to go. I want to go check fishing out. I want to go check out the, the the gun show. I want to go check out the fire and ice show. I want to go check out. I mean, you got so much going on. We're trying. We're putting together a good program. We're very excited about it. Now, what are, what is what, exactly? Tell everybody what we got happening this year. Well, we got an uh, expanded tackle time pavilion. There's going to be lots of tackle. Uh, Grant Rods Anglers Outlet, um, Raleigh's Rods Guys Choice Gaping. RD's tackle, you name it. There's going to be a lot to buy. Mm -hmm. um, there's a uh, Rosemont Boat and RV Pavilion, General RV Center, um, Fox Lake Harbor, uh, Lake County Water Sports. Um, so there's a little of everything for the family. There's family activities. There's the hog trough. There's a casting pond, wild world animals, chicks with axes. You <laughs> name it. We got it going on. Yeah, chicks with axes is scaring me right now. But <laughs> Uh, I mean, it really, it sounds like you, you've, every year you've been pumping and just giving it another shot of all kinds of stuff to do. Uh, I know there's activities for, you know, for kids to do. I know there's, you, you've got a, a big lineup of seminar people that are coming in for this, which is always exciting. Uh, you know, we had Dan Gapin on uh, last week and he mentioned it, that he was going to be at your show. Uh, so, I mean, it's real. I'm, I'm excited about all the action that's going to be happening there. Well, thank you. Yeah, we're we're always happy to have Dan Gapin back. The, the historic um, fishing display is is one of a kind. Uh, yeah, with I mean, Mr. Baser, yeah, Dan Baser is with historic display. And trust me, I don't care if you've seen it once or a thousand times. You're always going to find something new. <laughs> it really is. It's incredible. Yeah. So it, you know that alone is worth coming to the show. Um, full lineup of speakers, as you mentioned. Uh, we'll be posting the, the seminar schedule this coming week, so that's that's something to check out at the website, mm -hmm. uh, chicagosportshow.com, um, as we're making announcements daily at this point. Yeah. Now, you can go to the website and purchase your, if you're not, if you didn't win them on Chauncey's Great Outdoors, you could purchase your w tickets at a discount, right? Correct, yeah. It's, it's a $10 ticket online, and it comes with uh, online only comes with a uh, subscription to Field and Stream or Outdoor Life. Um, we're running food drives, as we do every year. Yes. Uh, that is sponsored by the ICF, Illinois Conservation Foundation. Mm -hmm. So if you bring in uh, six cans, five cans, um, that's half off a mission on every day. Um, the $6 on Wednesday and the, and the rest of the week is 50% off. Right, and you know the the one thing I've always said is sportsmen have the biggest hearts on the face of the earth when it comes to helping people, and I'm sure that many sportsmen uh, and will be bringing in cans of food uh, to get a to get the discount because you always like getting something cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> we, we both know that, <laughs> and that's uh, right. yeah, that's right. But you know, th it's doing something for the good, and the show's doing something for the community, which is important. No, I appreciate that. Yeah, we're. We're very happy to have that partnership. Well, uh, a couple other things. Now, new this year, I think it's, was it the Hot Sauce Expo? Is that, what, which one of those is, yeah, that's the one that's new this year. You didn't, you didn't have that yeah, one. Yeah, the Hot Sauce Expo is new. Uh, it's, there's about 20, 25 premier vendors, and, uh, you know, they're going to have the latest sauces and, you know, how to mix them with, with your wild game or your fish, uh, it's a it's a section in the, in the, that runs on the weekend only Friday through Sunday. Um, we'll have some hot um, some contests. Uh, those will be announced soon. Usually it's a, a wing eating contest or a poppers or something. But uh, if you can stand the heat, then join the contest. <laughs> if you can handle the heat, yeah, it, it sounds like someplace I could go grazing uh, while I'm at the show. If you ask me. <laughs> Good, it could work very well. I might have to stop by the Budweiser uh, Beer Pavilion also. Oh, yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, this, I'm, I'm excited. I think it's gonna, we're going to have a great show. It's going to be a lot of activities going on there. Uh, and, and really, if you think about it, you know, the, the, the fire and ice is about ice fishing, correct? No, the fire and ice is everything to do with um, aftermarket products, mm -hmm. uh, grills, um, 
cooking utensils, uh, camping, hiking. Um, so Northwest uh, Metalcraft is going to have a, a huge display of grills, a bunch of their patio furniture. So it's all those, the, the equipment and needs you have when you're, you're done fishing and hunting and you come home and you're ready to relax. Because I got a note from one of the vendors that says, I got ice fishing gear for the ice section of the show. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it must be the fire and ice section he's talking about. I mean... <laughs> But it I, could well, fit. It yeah, could that fit. Would fit. We, we, there'll, there'll definitely be ice fishing, and there are vendors that uh, will satisfy that need. So yeah. there's lots of lots to see. That's what when he said it like that, I go, "That's not what the ice fishing section is." But uh, you know, okay, you know, I, I I figured he was trying to make get me to make a point on something. The other thing too is, um, you know, the 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 firearm section. The gun yes. Show. So the Chicago Land Gun Show is continuing. It's uh, it's a more of an educational gun show on gun safety. Mm -hmm. um, there's there's a full lineup. Um, ISRA University is going to be there giving classes throughout the weekend. Um, Viking Arms is our, our gun dealer. Mm -hmm. There's also um, ammo and knives and, and and different apparel that'll be for sale throughout the weekend. Yeah, I mean, so I mean, th there is literally if. You like to do something, and, you know, let's not forget you're going to have, you know, people like Pat Harrison there uh, doing uh, seminars and, and talking, and he, he's going to be, you know, he, a great Chicago local guide, uh, and as well as many other guys that you've got coming in and different, you know, people from around the country. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty excited. I, this is going to be cool. This is really going to be cool. I mean, I'm No, I appreciate it, yes. It's um, right also next to the gun section, there's going to be um, the all-wheel exhibit, which is around... 25 to 30 vehicles, vintage mm -hmm. vehicles, and um, that's return. That was uh, that's grown from last year, so that's another exhibit that's on display uh, next to the kids zone with kids archery yeah. and the trout pond. Um, so yeah, like you said, there's there's lots to do. We're we're excited about the program we put together. Um, Grant Rods is releasing his CUDA series, uh, so that's always a, a show favorite with the with the um, mm -hmm. tackle he brings to the event. Um, so be sure to check it out. Yeah, every time I walk into his little booth, I just kind of go, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, I mean, it's it's premier gear. I mean, yeah. if, if you're looking to find the right rod for yourself, that's that's the booth to stop by, and uh, he'll be releasing that only at our show this year. So that's uh, that's a showstopper. It is. Hey, if somebody wants to get more information, Rick, about all kinds of stuff for the show, what's the best way to get it? The website, chicagosportshow.com. Uh, Check it out. It's uh, it's updated every day. That has the show schedule, all the show attractions, the current exhibitor list, mm -hmm. uh, and, and and more importantly, all the special discounts for tickets. Exactly. ChicagoSportsShow.com. ChicagoSportsShow.com. And the dates of the show again? The the twentieth through the twenty fourth. And the times? The times? Yes, times. Well, we open on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll give you the exact schedule. Okay. And that's from 4 to 9 mm -hmm. on the 20th. The 21st is 1 to 8. 22nd is 1 to 8. 23rd is 10 to 8. And Sunday the 24th is 10 to 5. Perfect times. Perfect times for people to come on out and have some fun. Well, I want to thank you for coming on the show, Rick, this morning. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Happy and New Year. Happy New Year to you. And we'll be talking to uh, one of the other people. They're going to be uh, part of the show uh, next week, as a matter of fact, on Chauncey's Great Outdoors, which you can also watch live on YouTube and our live stream that's going on right now. Uh, I know people are having, you know, heart attacks seeing me this early in the morning. But, uh, <laughs> you know, you can watch the live stream on uh, YouTube this morning. So, Rick, thank you so much for coming on. Thanks for having me. Really appreciate it. All right. That's Rick Lorzellini, everybody, manager of the big Outdoor show, Rosemont to Chicago, and outdoor sports show, uh, doing a great job for us and, and a great job for the community. You're listening to Chauncey on Chauncey's Great Outdoors. You know us, we know the outdoors. Want that Canadian fishing feel without the hassle of crossing the border? Then Minnesota's Vermilion Dam Lodge on Lake Vermilion is the perfect place to plan your next trip. Stay on a 40,000 acre lake with 1,200 miles of shoreline, 365 islands, large and small, and it's only less than nine hours from most anywhere in the Midwest. And there's plenty of walleye, muskie, bass, and pike all waiting for you. But the Vermilion Dam Lodge has fishermen and family-friendly lodging that will make your return for many years. For more information on Vermilion Dam Lodge, go 
to VDL.com or call 800-325-5780 or stop by their booth at the new Chicago Muskie Show in Hoffman Estates on January 8th to the 10th or the Chicagoland Fishing, Travel, and Outdoor Expo in Schaumburg Convention Center January 28th through the 31st and tell them Chauncey sent you. The All Canada Show. Come to the All Canada Show and get connected with Canada's best fishing and hunting destinations. Register to win a fantastic Canadian fishing trip. Enjoy great seminar speakers. Try our new hockey challenge game. And have shore lunch with an ice cold Labatt Blue. Seniors get a discount, kids get in free, and everyone gets a free Daredevil lure on opening night. January 14th through the 17th at the Pheasant Run Mega Center, St. Charles. Free parking. Details at allcanada.com. The All Canada Show. Hello everyone, this One is minute. Chauncey, your host of Chauncey's Great Outdoors Radio, and I want to tell you about a fantastic new magazine for fishermen and hunters right here in Illinois. It's called Midwest Outdoors. Uh, no, I'm not going crazy. I, Midwest Outdoors has been here, but this is the new Midwest Outdoors. It's better than ever, and it's jam-packed with new features, great information on fishing and hunting that you can use. Whether you want to know where to go, what to use, how to use it, or just plain enjoy the outdoors, the new Midwest Outdoors is worth a look. Every issue has great articles from your favorite professional outdoorsman, and this month's Mark 30 Center seconds let get you on the fish on your favorite lake. Midwest Outdoors is available at leading newsstands, or you can have it delivered to your home for only $14.95 for 12 issues. You can sign up online at MidwestOutdoors.com or call them at 800-606-3474. All major credit cards accepted. Ten seconds. That's MidwestOutdoors.com or call 800-606-3474. The new Midwest Outdoors magazine and television show helping you enjoy the outdoors. It's Chauncey's Great Outdoors on ESPN 1000 and ESPNChicago.com. Hey everybody, welcome back to Chauncey's Great Outdoors, and once again, that's the new Midwest Outdoors magazine. Uh, I'm holding a copy up for those that are watching us on YouTube live. Uh, definitely, definitely check it out. Great magazine. Hey, uh, real fast, I got uh, Paul who's been on the phone for almost the whole show. Paul, you out there? Hey, how you doing there, Chauncey? Okay, quick report on Geneva. They still out there? There's guys going out there, believe it or not. In fact, there are some people that are still bringing in their peer this week. Wow. Wow. Well, we, we all know that it's not going to get ice for a long time up on uh, Lake Geneva, but there's still, you said, a fair number of boaters out there, and they're fishing day and night, right? Yeah. We have two types of fishermen out there. The ones who fish during the day and the ones who fish at night. <laughs> All right, Paul. Well, I want to thank you for that report that they're still out ch chasing fish on, on Lake Geneva. Thanks so much for calling in. Yeah, there was a little ice over on Lake Como a couple weeks ago, but I haven't seen any lately. No, nah, no, nah, that's a little iffy. Okay, my friend, I'll let you go. We'll talk to you in a week or two. That's Paul from Lake Geneva. Great guy, great guy. Oh, man, all kinds of neat stuff on there. And, uh, well, with the new year, you know, I asked for New Year's resolutions. I got one today. Uh, just, you know, make sure you... Do something for somebody else. That's my New Year's resolution. Help as many people as you can. Get as many people in the outdoors as you can. And I like to leave you with a Native American proverb. This one comes from the Lakota. When temptation comes, I don't say yes. I don't say no. I say later. I just keep walking down the middle of the road. When you're in the middle, you don't go to either extreme. You allow both sides to exist. That's from our friends in the Lakota Nation. How very true. Please remember, we do not own the woods, the rain, the storms, the fish we catch. We really borrow it all from our children's children's children. Remember, you can catch the show on ESPNRadio.com on the podcast, Chauncey's Great Outdoors, or you can go to YouTube and watch the show on YouTube uh, to see Chauncey's Great Outdoors on a stream. We'll see you next week right here. And Chauncey's Great Outdoors. The preceding program was a paid advertisement. The views reflected are not necessarily the views of ESPN 1000.
Save big at Menards. How big? 11% big. With an 11% rebate on everything, make it easier. 11% easier with all tools and appliances. Get organized. 11% more organized with all shelving and storage. Save 11% on doors, paint, windows, and lumber. There's no end to the possibilities with an 11% rebate on your entire purchase. Good through January 2nd. So stop into Menards today and save big. 11% big. Save big money at Menards. have vehicles that your business depends on daily? Are you a contractor such as a plumber, electrician, carpenter? At Cassidy, we understand. Time is money. So it's our job to deliver fast service, the right tires, an experienced crew, roadside assistance, and competitive prices. Put Cassidy's 100 plus years of experience to work for you. You've got a business. You've got needs. Cassidy specializes in supporting Chicagoland businesses by reducing cost and minimizing downtime. From cars to trucks to trailers and tractors, we've got all your tires in stock right now. Plus Plus, Cassidy backs your business with the most complete 24-hour roadside assistance anywhere. Time is money. Choose the right business partner and save both.